Alright, what's going on guys? It's Sparks here, and uh, welcome to another episode of Agrarian Sky. So, um, something went wrong, and I had to do um, what I did in the first episode all over again. So, instead of ending up with a sword, I ended up with a red herring, a fish. Um, but, that's not too much of an issue, so uh, let's continue on our merry old quest. Uh, and let's do uh, the first quest, the beginning quest, which is uh, in the beginning. So it says, you may have noticed you have very little to start with, almost no land, no food, but hey, you have a floor. Be thankful for that much. Uh, now it's up to you to rebuild the entire planet or as much of it as you can before dying. To start, I suggest growing some oak trees. Oak will supply you with apples and saplings, leaves and string. Uh, you will be able to turn into dirt. Place three barrels outside where the rain can fall into them and place two under cover. Uh, to create composting areas. Once you have eight spare saplings, place them in the barrel to compost into dirt. Um, you can compost leaves, rotten meat, apples, wheat, string, use any eye to look up recipes. So I pretty much know all the recipes to this stuff uh, because I've played maps with uh, Tinker's Construct and um, I've never played Ex Nilo so I might have to look that up. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get started. Um, we're gonna need some more wood uh, so I'm going to collect this wood here, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more saplings from this partial tree. I was messing around with the tree, so that's why it's partial. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to place that down, um, and we'll start off by uh, making more some wood here. I'm going to make a chest, turn that into a crafting station. Uh, and we're going to place this crafting station right here. Uh, now, in my crafting station, I'm going to create a chest. And I'm going to place that chest next to the crafting station. This will allow uh, me to see everything I put in this crafting, uh, in the chest, while in the crafting station, which is a cool feature of the crafting station. <clears throat> um, let Let's get some more wood. Let's let's get rid of these leaves first. Uh, we're gonna need more wood for the for the horde. Uh, we're gonna need more wood for um, for the rest of the items that we need to make. Why are you taking so long to build? Um, so yeah, a couple of wood blocks uh, or oak wood trunks or whatever we want to call them. Um, will be perfect for what we need to do next. Um, <clears throat> so whatever's left is um, stencil table, tool station. Uh, so we need some wood and we also need some sticks. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three of these blank patterns. One I'm going to place on top of a piece of oak getting a part builder. The other I'm going to put on a piece of wood uh, to get a stencil table. And the last one I'm going to put on a crafting table and that's going to give me a tool station. Uh, so now the tool station I'm going to put next to the crafting station and I'll show you why because it will have a tool in the middle here. I'm not sure what the hell that does, uh, but I think it's really cool, so I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, and then I'll place those ones next to each other there. So now that we have this all lined up in a row, um, I think we can go ahead and um, collect more wood for the barrels uh, that we need to create. And hopefully... Um, Hopefully we'll get some more saplings from this. Dun, 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 dun. I've almost got eight saplings. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so thank you, thank you, tree, for being so awesome. So let us go ahead and get rid of all this wood and let this tree decompose. 
Um, and we're going to use this wood to make the barrels that we need. Uh, and I'll show you how to make the barrels, and then we'll look up how to make the crook in a second. So for the barrels, we're going to need oak wood slabs, and then we're going to make, if we can, no, we're, we're going to need more. We've got four, so I'm going to place uh, two inside right now, and we'll move them later, and we'll place two outside. And these ones will collect water. Um, ooh, look. And the last thing we need to build for this is <coughs> is going to be the crook. So let's let's try and get rid of these leaves just so that we're not building a tree that's like short or anything. Give it some clearance just in case it wants to get big. I'll move out of this space. Awesome. Okay, so um, we'll collect this wood and make ourselves at least one more barrel and a crook. Uh, I won't fully get rid of the tree yet, so let's go back inside, create that, uh, that barrel, which we'll place outside right here next to the other barrels that are collecting some water <clears throat> and and we need to figure out how to make a crook so crook it's just four sticks cool so since we already got two well these give us four anyway cool a crook awesome and I think the crook, if I remember correctly from reading, allows us to get more saplings from our trees, uh, as well as these guys, silkworms, which is super awesome. Ooh, look, we just got another apple. Uh, so apples are right now pretty much the only source of food that we have. Um, apples are great, but they're really hard to come by, so it makes them sort of ineffective, um, which kind of sucks, but hopefully we'll come across uh, an easier way to make food. And I think, if I'm correct, uh, we do have the ability to get um, a frying pan, which uh, reading or finding out today a frying pan, what a frying pan is great for, so... Let us actually check on the quest that we have here. Oh, okay, so we've got it complete. And I was saying about that frying pan, I'm going to take this pan of destiny over the axe of despair. Because uh, it will come in handy. Very, very much so. I'm going to place a piece of wood right here. And I'm going to show you guys how handy this little guy is. So early on in game, if you hold shift and you right click, uh, you've got your pan. I'm gonna face it this way. Uh, and the fan, the the fan, the pan, if you put uh, wood in its fuel, I'm gonna put two and I'm gonna put a fish in here. It's gonna go ahead and cook that fish for me um, so that I have some food to eat. So once we get uh, a fishing rod we should be able to uh, create more cooked fish with our frying pan here. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's go ahead and see what the next quest. This one's called Smooth as Silk. String, smooth as silk. String is a gateway to all resources. Fishing rods will provide food. Sieves are used to sift dirt, gravel, and sand and dust to obtain stone, ores, and other resources. To get string, you will need to break leaves with your crook until you receive a silkworm. Right click a leaf block on the newly grown tree with the silkworm walk away and when all the leaves on the tree have turned white break them with a crook to get string and more silkworms when you have extra silkworms you can cook them for food okay so we have another source of food so let's go ahead and plant another tree 
And since we got two silkworms, uh, we can go ahead and place one on it. Cool. Uh, let's go check on our fish. Our fish. So our fish does one full um, hunger bar. I don't know what this guy does. Praise the road, praise it now. Not sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out later. Alright guys, I'm back, and it uh, looks like our tree is now fully white, so we can go ahead and start collecting some string, which is awesome, because this will allow us to um, g continue our quests. Now, you'll see that some of the blocks are turning green. Now, this is just a graphical glitch. Um, you can actually continue to collect uh, string from these ones. Um, that, I've heard, is going to be fixed uh, soon, but I'm not sure when. Uh, supposedly the makers of the mod, um, this is all what I've read, <coughs> supposedly the makers of the mod understand that that is happening and they are going to fix it, but until then, uh, you're still going to have white blocks that turn green randomly, uh, but they will still spawn string like you guys can see right there. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a bunch of string. I'm actually going to collect this wood, and uh, hopefully we can make um, a bed and some other stuff with this string. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to plant another tree and throw another silkworm on it, just so that just in case we don't have enough string here, um, we will we will have enough. Okay, so I'll place one of those there, and we will go inside and see what we can do about the amount of string that we have. Uh, okay. I've got enough to make a bed. Awesome. A bed? What else did we need? I'm actually going to put this in here. Um, and, ooh, we got a... I forgot about that, the reward bag. Colored bricks. Okay, well, I don't know what to do with our colored bricks right now. But in the meantime, I'll leave them. Our bed we can place. Uh, I'm going to place it right here. And uh, let's make it daytime. Just because we can. Um, hmm. What was I doing? Uh, okay, so we made a bed. We need a sieve and a... I think we have enough, to be honest. Uh, we need the sieve, which requires two mesh. And we need... Zeus, the fishing rod, and we need the sieve. So the sieve is comprised of two of these. Exnilo. Well, that's kind of annoying. So it looks like I'm going to be placing my pan this way. Um. Okay, so we've got our sieve, got our fishing rod, we've got our bed, and now we just need a hammer, I think it was. So let's look up the... Oh, what am I doing? Let's look up the hammer. Hammer time. Wooden hammer. Okay, so two sticks and two wood blocks. Okay, so let's make some more sticks. Two sticks, two wood blocks. Hammer. Awesome. Okay, so let's check on this quest. Everything seems good. Your first stone. 
So job well done. You have proven yourself that you can stay alive in this new world. The cute one might be impressed, but don't count on it that you haven't killed yourself yet. Uh, now, time has come to get working with wood. Uh, let's put those trees you've grown to some good use. Find stones hidden in the dirt using a device which the great transmutation lords have created just for you. So, we need how many saplings? Let's put one or two of these away. Three of them. Uh, and let's go, well we have our barrels right here. I'm actually going to move these outside so we have some more room in the house. Uh, bam and bam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, maybe I should actually also. Do we have enough? Yep, we do. But we need more sticks. Um, and you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. I'm actually going to be making uh, a shelter for this. Oh no, I know what I need. I'm gonna need more wood. But, hmm. What am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna do that now until I can get fence posts. Uh, and the fence posts I'll use to, as decoration, to hold these wood slabs up. So let's take uh, this dirt. I, my voice is just ret special today. Let's throw it in the sieve and hopefully we get enough. Yeah, awesome. So we get stones that can be turned into cobblestone. And uh, that way we can turn in this quest. I'm going to take carrots as our seed. Because as we see more um, dirt, we should be able to get more, um, what do you call it? We should be able to get more, get some seeds, like for, for wheat, wheat seeds, regular seeds, you know, the special stuff. I'm actually going to come put some of this stuff away because I don't want to lose any of it. Apples. Well, I'll keep this stuff in my inventory. Alright, guys, so that's going to be the second episode of uh, the Agrarian Skies series. Um, off screen, I'm going to go ahead and um, probably collect some more stuff uh, so we can do some of these quests because uh, it looks like we're going to need um, some more resources here. Um, so I'm going to collect the stuff in order to fulfill this and maybe next uh, we'll do this one which seems really easy which is catch a fish uh, which so far seems quite easy since we have a pond up there but who knows uh, so again I want to thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode uh, the regular likes comments subscribes are always appreciated and I will see you guys later peace out Thank <laughs> you.